Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and I don't even think I can be in the shot, so I'll just pretend I am Silverius. Hey everyone, it's Silverius, and welcome back to me playing Dragon's Dogma 2. I just started this recording in the middle of some inventory management because Moss here decided to barge into my personal home to say, Are you the Arisen? I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. Oh, Sven, the son of the Queen Regent. All right. Very, very interesting. I guess I'll go meet with... Are they just going to let me in or do I have to sneak in? Now, I was also working on getting these new rings over to Silvarius. I want to get strength over to Silvarius. And then the ring of resolution I'm going to give to him as well. Just to see if maybe... Let's see. Ring of Vehemence, which I really like that. Like the Destagger Knockdown Foes. So I will switch out strength for the yeah for the ring of tenacity and we'll just leave that on just in case we want to switch it out that'll work now that was not a new quest so we do have a couple things that we need to do first off i'm going to grab the miasmite because we do have some of those that we can turn into the gracious hand so let's withdraw go to materials i have 43 copper i guess that's going to be my funds for gold here soon we'll take three there we go you found some miasmite, great. I'm not leaving till you take it. So there. Till till I take what? A forager's tome? Oh, okay, that's gonna be a pond inclination. Allowing them to mark the location of enhancement materials on the map. Okay. Uh I don't think I want to use that right now. Thank you, but Tell you what, since we're so close to the slums, why don't we go bring the Miasmite first? And then we will make our way to Sven's quarters. And then I think we'll do the masquerade kind of infiltration. I should probably switch this so I have the marker on my on my map here. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. Then we'll go to the masquerade. Ugh, Kendrick. Did you perchance pay a visit to the house of the blue sunbright? Yes, and I am I am fully under the impression that Daphne is a long lost daughter separated at birth, but go on. I see. After the rather strongly worded letter I received, I feared as much. It was under unique circumstances, shall we say, that Daphne came to reside with us. You must understand. The House of the Blue Sunbright is our most generous benefactor, and their favor hinges upon our continued discretion. Thus, for the sake of all who reside herein, I beg you to steer Daphne away from any further contact with that household. Though it pains me to perpetuate the girl's misfortune, it must be done, if the Gracious Hand is to continue to function. Yeah, no, we're going to go ahead and get her to confront that mom there. Yes, sir. I've got my asthma for you. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward... Mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Seems like an odd reward, but sure. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? Yes, yeah, Sven can wait. As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. Yeah, I, I remember I wanted to help him back then. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. I'll gather this. I was going to say, let's grab the green wersh. And then are we supposed to be following? Yes, we are. 
Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. It doesn't look that young. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... S something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the gracious hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty curious about what's going on here. We're going to ask around. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Oops, sorry. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Yeah? What is it? Nothing, Malcolm. Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more hands to aid us. Alright, let's turn on the lantern here. I mean, I could go down to the vaults. I don't think the vaults is going to help me any. But we did have that one patient's room. That was locked last time. And it's not locked this time. I need it. Yeah, you've been here some time. Oh, someone help me. And that's the same thing you've been saying, okay. Hmm. Seems like it's a pretty big quest area to investigate. Yeah, kind of a huge quest area. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. I mean, I was just in there. Tell is. She gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet... A part of me is a feared for them. Very peculiar. Report back. All right. Let's see what he has to say. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught amiss down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. 
If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. I was just what about this down there, though. Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. All right, well, let's let's talk to people again. Any good stories to share? This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. I fear I've much to attend to. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Oh, I really hope that she's innocent. But sure doesn't sound like it, does it? I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? Splendid. Oh, can't now. Oh. Beg pardon, sir, but this room is where our most severe cases convalesce. I must ask you not to disturb them. For your sake, as much as theirs. Right, no, no, of course. I'll let you just, um, just walk away. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll leave. Oh, you left. I wonder if she came out because she heard me trying to open the door? Hmm. And there's nothing down here. No way to open that door until she opens it. Alright, we might have to come back another time. Unless Lubomir can give me any sort of clue. I have noticed that the abbess goes out every night without fail. Perhaps you could wait for her to leave and slip into the basement sick room. Okay, so she's going to be gone at night. Do we have... Is there a bench nearby? Must have taken a wrong turn. Sir, arisen, I trust that prey see to it that naught akin to the... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and look for Daphne now. Oh! Of course I do. I'm his maid no longer. Though I meant no harm, the mistress saw fit to turn me out. Tell no other soul of this. But the girl I had you fetch was none other than Sebastian's own twin sister. <gasps> no, you don't say. Afeard of inviting conflict over their inheritance, Daphne's family branded her a cursed babe and sent her away. Hold on, they were afraid that the two would fight over inheritance? Yet the loss of her newborn child drove the mistress half mad with grief. She's been bedridden ever since. But she also could fix this. I had hoped the sight of her long-lost daughter might rekindle some vital spark within my mistress. But alas, it would seem it was not to be. Well, that's awful. Where's Daphne? What are you doing on the floor? The other day... I chance to see a most resplendent ox cart on the Right, road. but can we talk about this wow. That's not so strange. Dead person? I guess who I saw riding in it. Poor little Daphne. I doubt with my eyes I did. And rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. I love that they saw Daphne so pretending to be Sebastian. That's actually really great. Nice little uh nice little detail there. Ah, oh, I'll take that. Go ahead, take all that. I am looking for Daphne, and then we're going to look for a place to sit and wait. Can I tell you what I know now? No. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and fix this family. It's kind of what we do. We're the Arisen. Is 
shame that I don't see any good place just to sit, though. I mean, it's the slums, I get it. And I don't, I just don't see Daphne around. Maybe she'll be out at night. Okay. Well, we do have our own home not too far away. We could go sleep till evening. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. This so. ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen. I don't intend for this to be another Vernworth episode, but my gosh, there's so much to do. I have no issue falling asleep. And I gotta wonder just how far into the story I am. You know, ten percent, maybe. Uh, I'm currently locked in place. I can't use my menu or anything. Okay. Might have to force quit. Open your eyes, everyone. It is dark out, but our day begins. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Feeling rested, I trust. Yeah? What is it? What do you think? Does this suit me? I need it. I need it. Oh, someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Mayhap would serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. You have my support. Oh, some. We found some evidence. But there might be more to discover. Let us scour every inch of this room. Splendid. back pray tell me have you found anything these look like records of treatment Johan and Bruno I know these two they left here not long ago fit as a pair of fiddles you don't think it's just extortion do you that they're just waiting until they can pay a certain hefty fee 
recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you, perhaps you would speak to them in my stead? Yeah, do you know where they are? Wait, why do I have that triquetra symbol on my map? That's different. Are they over at the... Oh, yeah, it looks like they're over at the tavern. Old Walter's Tavern. What might you need? Nothing from you. Elena. Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. This is borderline Munchausen syndrome. In the end, I survived. But methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. I wonder if they're running experiments, experimental trials. And someone's paying her to do it. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where do they meet? Twas in the square, in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. Spoke to Bruno. Can I speak to Johan as well? Lady Eleanor's a goodly person. A saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room. And she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Suppose tis only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Well, it's night time. I think we should maybe head to the common square. I really, really like some of these quest designs. And I understand a lot of it's just running around and talking to people, but maybe what I mean by quest design is just how intricate some of them are. Here. Aye, this is plenty. <gasps> Lord Phasus is like to be in your deck. Lord Phasus? Okay, so it really is connecting. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. Wait, you didn't just give him the miasmite, did you? You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. <gasps> hold on, hold on. Is she... Because there was that bloodletting room behind the sick room is she extracting blood in order to perhaps create or or energize the godsway the necklace that the fake arisen is wearing ha you're a fearsome one here's hoping i near end up in your care enough i gave you yours now you give me mine i'd not be seen here with you Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. Aye, be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I wonder? Ready to apprehend? Very peculiar. Or should I go talk to... Oh, I don't know. 
I don't know if I have enough. Gather evidence and apprehend the abbess. Ugh. Maybe I just go and confront her. A moment's prayer can do oh, get out of here. I really like that I had the option to give her a gift. Alright, let's head back to the Gracious Hand and see. I don't know if I should just grab her. Because we don't know what she's doing yet. Uh, you're supposed to not be able to move? All right, little buggy right now. You're back. Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like Johan and Bruno. I recall them being a Interesting, okay. Maybe I go back down and investigate again just to see... Especially that bloodletting area. There might be more to discover. Let us scour every inch of this room. Not a bad idea. Oh, what's that? Unlabeled medicine. I mean, it's unlabeled, so it's unlikely to say anything. Powder medicine, not as written on the wrapper, leaving its properties a mystery. Mayhap a learned doctor could divine its composition. Who do I know that's a learned doctor? I mean, I assume this is the same medicine that Alina just got from that mystery man. You're back. Pray, what? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room. I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. What, what is the I rest town? Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Ratcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. Oh, wait a minute. Shock to me. The rest town. That's not here. Oh, it is here. And where is it? Okay, maybe I don't know where it is. But it's on my... It's on my map. The rest town sounds familiar, though. As if it is a separate place altogether. And it's over to the west. Alright, let's look at the map. Let's look to the west. Oh my word! That's very far indeed. Very, very far. Wow. Um, this isn't timed, right? No. Okay, good. Okay. So, let's go on. Uh, I'm just curious. What will you tell me? I like checking in with the diviner. Consider thy path with a cup. You've my gratitude. It is lovely to see you. Really? That's just a generic boilerplate saying that you offer? That's disappointing. Okay. So I could... I could take a... There's a ladder here. <laughs> Thinking out loud, sorry. I could take a fairy stone all the way to Harv Village, and that's fairly close. I could also go and try and find Sven... Let's go try to find Sven. Yeah. I can tell that I'm mixed up. Me too. Is that Mildred? Alright, you lot stay here. Do you know how long you'll be? 
I only ask so that I might adopt now I don't have my clothes to go to a masquerade but guardhouse castle training ground dining hall oh do I have to look I have to go up all right Disa's castle oh magistrate where where's Where's Sven's room? I mean, it's got to be up on the second floor. Okay. Problem is, no one's going to let me in. Because I don't have someone... Standing guard. But... Nope. <laughs> yeah, they got to be unlocked. This one is still unlocked, believe it or not. Yes, I used to... Or I read that one. They used to see pawns all over the place. Now they don't see them as often. Okay, now let's take a look at the map, though, and see... Because this is going to get too far away. Oh. And remind me where this spits me out. Uh, actually, this might be onto something. Oh, nope, this is just the Masquerade Hall. The Vernworth Hall. Never mind. You know, Sven could have met me. Um, what is this? The Guard Dining Hall? Loot first, questions later. Take a look. Oh, so we are in the guardhouse. Does this just go outside then? Yeah, to the training ground. Ah. Uh. Boy, you are really, really just not very cautious, are you? I guess I'm just allowed here. I mean, am I trying to make more of this than what it is? Should I just try to walk in? <laughs> Apparently this is completely except. Oh wait, this is Vernorth Hall. You, on the other hand, are going to... to leave this place yeah, place. okay. Okay. You got it. Are all the doors guarded? I'm sure they are. Except this one. Darn. What if I just run? What if I just run right past you? I mean, what if I just sneak this way? Shh, 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 shh. No, I didn't think I was allowed to be here. Didn't I go up through the tower? But, of course, that's being watched. Yeah, see this? This feels like I should be able to get in here from here. And, I mean, I think I have. Oh, is it because I'm just not taking the very obvious? Oh my, okay. There's some stairs up. I 
I'm being quiet, even though, you know, there's no sort of vocal detection in the game. Okay. I don't think I should go talk to Deza. I don't think we're ready for that conversation, that FaceTime yet. But I don't know where Sven lives. I found him, but I also found a chest. I heard from Captain Brandt that you plan to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. Mm-hmm. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. Yeah. She likes to meet with him after masquerades, but also um, Phasus is paying someone to get what I believe to be blood samples from really, really sick people in the gracious hands down in the slums in return for unlabeled powdery medicine. I've heard of him. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you've the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. Interesting. Investigate the letter and report back to Sven. After I get your ornate chest here. Son of a gun. These stupid courtly clothes. Oh. Oh, Sven. Right. Expressing her gratitude for the gift of a godsway. The name Phasus jumps off the page. Wow, she just flat out said thanks for it. It's pretty messed up. Investigate the intent behind the unfinished letter. Somehow. Um, no real clear way of how to do that. But I should probably be uh, be heading out, I think. At least, probably, yeah? What if I just went and found where the, you know, Sovereign slept? Just did what I need to do anyway. Okay. Should I, should I be here? I mean, there could be some good stuff, right? Is there any way I can just leave out the front door? And when they get mad at me, they say, yeah, that's why I'm leaving. Run away, run away, run away, run away. That was a stupid idea. It's a good thing, you know, I'm not wearing anything that'll draw suspicion. Or that someone could describe in great detail. Are you coming up the stairs? Right, okay. Leave, 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 leave. Yep, yep. And we go. And we go. So, I have heard from a few people in Discord and in the comments that there's really no good consequences for being where you're not supposed to. And the stealth game is pretty um, lackluster, and and I do agree. Definitely one of the same same criticisms that uh, that I've been feeling. The whole stealth just doesn't feel fleshed out at all. Everything else feels amazing. Have you? Why? Could have gone and done other things. All right, I still want to try and find Walda. Oh gosh, why can't I never remember his name? Waldar. 
I still want to find Waldar's glasses. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to my home. Which in Eastern Vernworth. And we are going to get our... <laughs> I guess I don't need courtly stuff because I now have some more on me. But we need to also get our mask because we need to do the whole masquerade thing again. Oh, there's a ladder. So we're going to sleep until the next night. But first, let us withdraw... Eventide Mask. Sleep till the following evening. Silverius will love that. It is an odd thing to wake after the sun has fallen. It is an odd thing. Well, not quite. We are going to make sure that we mark... Oh, we already have marked that. And let's go to a masquerade. Again. I do like that I can actually, you know, keep my weapons on me, my cape, my hood. It's pretty, pretty forgiving. Now, I can only assume that the nobles have parties every night. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Let's see. And there is indeed. So is the palace storeroom... I mean, there's the secret entrance, but is it maybe just... in here? Does it... Is it marked on... Hmm... Jesus Chambers, Guest Chambers, Magistrate's Office. Hey! Uh... Cool party. So where would the storeroom be? Where, where am I right now? I'm in the Bordelry. That's right. So where? All right, let's read the quest again just to see. That doesn't help. A pair of exquisite spectacles belonging to Waldar can be found in the storeroom within the palace's masquerade hall. Okay. Within. Okay. So it's actually in the masquerade hall. It... Seems my feet always lead me here. Well, that's suspicious. You, you are the dangerous one here. Oh, wait a minute. There's some storerooms up front. Sorry, sorry. I find dressing for these occasions awfully tedious. Hmm. 
Not here. Well now, is that the arisen I espy? Who are you? Who am I? I assure you, it matters not. Yet I should be ere so glad if you would do me the honor of accepting this staff. You're just gonna give me a staff and not tell me who you are? Why? Had you not heard? Today is a day of gift giving, my good sir. Upon this occasion, every year, the noble personages who attend this masquerade exchange gifts to deepen their bonds. Thus do I present you now with this staff. Pray, take it. Tis a fine make, I assure you. The finest, in fact. Now, I must away. As it so happens, I'm in a bit of a hurry. May fortune smile upon you, friend. What? A paragon staff? A magnificent ornamental staff used in ceremonies and the like. One of the palace's most valuable and sacred treasures cannot be used as a weapon. I'm supposed to exchange gifts. I'm supposed to be looking for glasses. Okay, does anyone want a, an apple? I shan't let how would you like a harsebud rubberant? Hmm. Now this is a conundrum. Because you love it? All this revelry. What do you want? How about... I don't have any fresh fruit on me. How about a salubrious draft? Presume to confound me, do you? You're welcome. I must confess, I do not think I could endure this sort of occasion if the drink did not flow so freely. You understand me, don't you? Go on, take it. Give me some fruit wine. Aw, thanks. So maybe I'm just going to approach people and have them give me stuff. Frightfully busy. No yes, but have you ever had... Lantern oil? <laughs> This inspires naught but misgivings. Mm-hmm. From the bottom of my heart. You're certainly dressed to impress. Simply ravishing. Thanks, it's Saurian scale. This is for you. A bunch of flowers, thank you! Oh my gosh, everyone here is so nice. Well Quite the party, eh? Take this if you would. Igneous melon. That, see? You all know what's up. What do you have for me? I don't know what that means. Okay. What a lovely gesture. Who wants to give me glasses, though? Well, I say, what curious attire you're wearing. Yeah, I have like three other sets in storage. This is for you. Tiger Eye, we're getting closer to glasses. Those were eyeballs or an eyeball. Lords and ladies, I beg your attention. I have just received word from the sentries on patrol. Oh no. We have reason to believe that a thief is lurking in the masquerade hall. Is it the Paragon staff? Though I am loath to do so, I must ask that everyone wait here. I know how to sneak out though. Know also that I shall be stationing sentinels around the venue. We will strive to bring an end to this matter post haste. Oh, crud. But, but where are the glasses? That's, that's what I need to know. Oh, oh, oh! I found the glasses. <laughs> that's not going to help with the whole thieving thing. We have confirmed that an item has been stolen from the masquerade hall. It's going to be a staff, isn't it? Namely, an artifact. Oh, no! The Paragon staff. As such... I must ask that you allow us to examine your possessions before exiting the venue. The search will be conducted in the main hall. Pray make your way there now. And should you have some suspicion as to the culprit in this sordid affair, <laughs> you have our permission to subdue them. We humbly ask for your cooperation in the arrest of this slippery fiend. I've done nothing wrong. Clear yourself of suspicion. How do I do that? How do I do that? 
Should I have given the staff to someone else? It's an artifact that was stolen. You will have to think fast to avoid being framed for the theft. Let them talk. I'm well, I can't... I can't give it to anyone now. We'll be conducting a search of this room now. All get right, no, that makes sense. Can I store it? Can I just go this way? I mean... Oh, no. They locked it. Almost as if they knew what they were doing. Can I give you a gift? I'm not sure I follow. Can someone tell me what this is all No one's taking gifts. I'm not sure I follow. Oh no. I'm a somewhat of a loss. I am as well. Maybe I could find where the staff goes and put it back? I'm gonna go to jail, aren't I? This is beyond my ken. So, what if I just try to? What if I try to leave? You there? Quit stalling and move to the main hall. Is this not the main hall? What can I do with it? I can't give it to any of them. Too far away. Well, eh. I can't drop it. I must be the the How am I going to clear myself of suspicion? suspicious sort. Might you be the culprit? I'll be leaving now. What's the right of it? I don't know. I don't know what that means. I just don't know where... It came from. And why is someone trying to frame me? It is your turn next. Pray, show us your belongings. Here it is. Wait. So you're Are you talking to me? I was hidden. Come quietly. Now. So you just attack? Hold on. You say come quietly, but then you all just attack me without a second thought. I don't think I'm clearing myself of any suspicion right now. Really? Magic? Here's the thing. I'm afraid that if I leave... My pawns are going to attack them, and I don't want that. No, 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 no. We just, we just run. No, we don't fight all the guards. We don't fight all the guards. We just leave, and eventually, they don't care anymore. I don't know what I was supposed to do. Put your weapons away. Let us endeavor to keep up. Though we are less fleet of foot. And now, yeah, now they're fine. So this this is where it's kind of broken, right? I mean. Wait, you took it. You still took it from me. And I guess that makes sense, but what was. It seems you cannot afford to let your guard down for even a moment when visiting the palace, given the many schemes at work within its walls. This one 
sought to pin you with the theft of a priceless artifact, but you managed to flee the scene before suspicion could be cast your way. That's not even remotely true. Still, though, you may have foiled one attempt to entrap you. There is no telling what other plots may lay in wait. But now if I go there, they're just going to be completely fine with it. Again. All right. Well, we at least got the spectacles. So now we're going to head back to the vaults. And we're going to turn those in. Good. A little bit of damage. Why not? Right. Doors locked. That should do it. Wait. Albert. Hold on. He's in there. That's the beggar. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Thanks, Dan. I wonder if he'll just come back out. I might I might wait here a moment. Because that's only the second time I've ever heard him go in there and lock the door. See if he doesn't come out and leave the door unlocked. Kind of like uh, Alina. Well, considering it's now completely daybreak, I don't... I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with Albert today slash tonight. All right, let's instead get lost on our way to the slums. Yeah, see, that's Albert, but Albert is heading to the town hall to do his thing. And of course, his door's still locked. Doggone it! One of these days, Albert... We'll uncover your truths. Oh, wrong way. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, arisen. Oh, I really want to get to the bottom of the whole Daphne thing. I really, really do. But anyway, time to go to the vaults. Am I in the wrong spot? Yes, it's right over here. Oh, lantern on. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boats. Yep, boats. I dare say that's part and parcel of the adventurer's trade. What what did you just kill? What is it? Have you brought me No, I wait. Hold on. Oh, a book, a apparently I can give you the letter. That's un that's surprising. A letter, is it? Let's you, see here. You probably want your glasses. But know that tonight the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer clouds, awaiting the return of the sun's warming glow. Well, well. I'd not thought Deeds of the capacity for such refinement. Tis a love letter of a sort. One that draws on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a woman, the sun, a man. Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is... I miss you. Ha! <laughs> A surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not agree? I know not who this Phasus is, though tis safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this God's way mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, we can surmise that it must be something tangible, an object. As to what manner of object, however, I can only begin to guess. And I'm not one for pointless conjecture. I suspect so. Ah, you've returned. And here's your glasses. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters, be they small or faintly scrawled. 
I shall learn aught I can, that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many, many thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Inter's path? Okay. Done at last. Uh, perhaps a brief respite before we take on another? Hold on, I just want to see, what does he have? A monocle? He does, he just has a monocle. Alright. Fantastic. Well, we got something accomplished. We got something accomplished, but... Oh, so much more to do. So much more to do. And who's trying to frame us? We need to figure out the whole Daphne Sebastian situation. We gotta find out who's trying to frame us. We still have that stupid beggar Albert to track down. And at some point, we need to make our way all the way to Batal. Oh, and we need to... Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. We need to go all the way to the Rest City, or the Rest Town, which is somehow way, 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 way out there. But all in that in due time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you next time.